Off to work we go indeed. Hello, we are Team 5. Our group members include Brian Brown, Grant Cole, Brianne Hughes, Rachel Jordan, and Mike Pappas. Today we will be presenting on the Walt Disney Company. Our presentation will begin with an overview of the Walt Disney Company. Following that will be an analysis of each of its business lines, including recommendations for each. Finally, we will give our overall recommendations for the company as a whole. The Walt Disney Company, together with its subsidiaries and affiliates, is a leading diversified international family entertainment and media enterprise with five business segments, consumer products, Disney Interactive, Parks and Resorts, Studio Entertainment, and Media Network. The Disney brand is one of the most recognizable in the world. As we saw in the eBay case, Whitman, the CEO, learned the importance of branding at companies such as Hasbro and Disney. She also hired senior staff members from companies like PepsiCo and Disney. Disney's mission is to drive the people dimension of our business consistent with Disney's culture and values. Its objective is to be one of the world's leading producers and providers of entertainment and information using its portfolio of brands to differentiate its content, services, and consumer products. It is a truly visionary firm as its values drive every operating decision that it makes. The value statement is as follows. Fostering safe, inclusive, respectful workplaces in all our locations across the globe. We value the fact that our heritage and reputation means we are held to highest standards of quality, ethics, and social responsibility. For many employees, that is the reason they chose the Walt Disney Company as an employer. And for Disney, it is how we strive to treat our cast members and employees. It seeks to generate the best creative content possible, fostering innovation and utilizing the latest technology while expanding into new markets around the world. Disney Consumer Products is the business segment of the Walt Disney Company and its affiliates that extends the Disney brand merchandise ranging from apparel, toys, home decor, and books and magazines to food and beverages, stationery, electronics, and fine art. This is accomplished through a franchise-based licensing organization focused on strategic brand priorities, including Disney Classic Characters and Disney Baby, Disney Live Action Film, Disney Media Networks and Games, Disney and Pixar Animation Studios, Disney Princess and Disney Fairies, and Marvel. Other businesses involved in Disney's consumer product sales are Disney Publishing Worldwide, the world's largest publisher of children's books and magazines, and www.disneystore.com and www.disneystore.co.uk, the company's official shopping portal. The Disney Store retail chain, which debuted in 1987, is owned and operated by Disney in North America, Europe, and Japan. In order to improve the consumer products division, it is essential that the company reform certain aspects of the supply chain. The supply chain is complex. Therefore, it is difficult to properly control and oversee. To minimize the risk of poor product quality and unethical manufacturing practices, it is highly recommended that this division consider vertically integrating its supply chain, as this may also help an increase profitability. The Disney Store should consider limiting its licensing agreement, as it currently has over 3,000 contracts with merchandises around the world. This could not only help it to prevent future problems, as it has seen many in the past, but also help it to obtain a sustainable competitive advantage. Founded in 2008, Disney Interactive entertains kids, families, and Disney enthusiasts everywhere with world-class products to push the boundaries of technology and imagination. Disney Interactive creates high-quality interactive entertainment across all digital media platforms, including Blockbuster Mobile, social and console games, online virtual worlds, and number one ranked web destination, Disney.com, and the Moms and Family Network of websites. Disney Interactive Media Group should utilize the strategic actions of vertical integration and divestment. One thing the Interactive Media Group currently does is vertically integrate its technological processes across other divisions of the entity, such as media networks and studio entertainment. This means Disney is able to shorten its value chain by completing more steps in its technological department without the help of outside companies. If Disney were to expand on this and really broaden its technology-sharing activities, it would be able to cut a larger portion of its costs. 
It is known for its video game development. However, it uses a variety of publishers and developers to actually get its games to the market. If Disney was to focus its vision and create a strong team to develop, market, and publish its video games, its value chain would be severely shortened with respect to video games. This would allow it to cut costs and maintain higher profits and hopefully attain a sustainable competitive advantage. Another recommendation for this business line is divestment of it altogether. Financial records show that the division is not only the least profitable of any division within the company, but it also has recorded a loss for this past year. For this reason, it might be a good option for Disney to start pulling funds from the division and allocate the resources to more profitable divisions. When Walt Disney opened Disneyland on July 17, 1955, he created a unique destination built around storytelling and immersive experiences, ushering in a new era of family entertainment. More than 55 years later, Walt Disney Parks and Resorts has grown into one of the world's leading providers of family travel and leisure experiences, providing millions of guests each year with the chance to spend time with their families and friends, making memories that will last forever. At the heart of the parks and resorts are five world-class vacation destinations with 11 theme parks and 43 resorts in North America, Europe, and Asia, with a sixth destination currently under construction in Shanghai. Parks and resorts also includes the Disney Cruise Line with its four ships, the Disney Magic, Disney Wonder, Disney Dream, and Disney Fantasy. It includes the Disney Vacation Club with 11 properties and more than 500,000 individual members. And finally, Adventures by Disney, which provides guided family vacation experiences to destinations around the globe. Disney Parks and Resorts should continue to capitalize on its sustained competitive advantage by extending its reach. Disney Cruise Lines is an entity of Travel Leaders Group's LLC, the market leader. Disney is the only cruise line that caters to all market niches, which has given it a competitive advantage. However, it has a smaller number of ships than most other cruise lines and only travels to a limited number of locations, which is a threat to its ability to sustain its competitive advantage. Disney should expand the number of ships it uses as well as the locations it travels to in order to sustain its competitive advantage. Levi's implemented a similar strategy when it expanded its product offered to specialize for each individual. By offering more locations and ships, Disney can expand across the world as Levi's did across the United States. Disney has a sustained competitive advantage in the amusement park industry, mostly due to its ability to maintain a third order fit. Due to the popularity of Disneyland in California and Walt Disney World in Florida, it should consider expanding further into the U.S. Disney should also expand into other parts of the world. However, it must take lessons learned from problems encountered in its other international expansions, most notably Euro Disneyland. The four major issues faced in Euro Disneyland were management issues, cultural environment, marketing and consumer issues, and financial debt and interest charges. Disney has gotten considerably better with its international expansion efforts since then, which has allowed it to increase its success. If Disney can continue this success, it most definitely should continue expanding, as that would help further solidify its sustained competitive advantage in this industry. Furthermore, Disney should continue to add to its existing parks with new rides and attractions. There is a growing trend in the theme park industry to create more immersive attractions, and it is a necessity now in attracting a large number of visitors. With New Fantasyland as the recent expansion to Magic Kingdom, the consistently most visited park, Disney has experienced high levels of success. Since its recent debut, it has received rave reviews and drawn in large crowds, eager to experience more Disney magic than ever before. Disney should also continue to increase its synergy efforts. The success of doing so can be seen in the recent Cars attraction to Disneyland. With still much hype surrounding the Cars movies, it opened this attraction at a perfect time. It also plans to add an Avatar attraction to Animal Kingdom in the coming years. In addition to the studio entertainment division, Disney should also exploit synergy opportunities with the Media Networks division. While it does do this to an extent, it could really see success in expanding these efforts, particularly with ESPN, its most successful media network. For more than 85 years, the Walt Disney Studios has been the foundation on which the Walt Disney Company was built. 
Today, the studios bring quality movies, music, and stage plays to consumers throughout the world. Feature films are released under the following banners. Disney, including Walt Disney Animation Studios and Pixar Animation Studios, Disney Nature, Marvel Studios, and Touchstone Pictures, the banner under which live action films from DreamWorks Studios are distributed. The Disney Music Group encompasses the Walt Disney Records and Hollywood Records labels, as well as Disney Music Publishing. The Disney Theatrical Group produces and licenses live events, including Disney on Broadway, Disney on Ice, and Disney Live. While Disney Studios does have a competitive advantage, a strategic initiative needs to be taken in order to establish a sustained competitive advantage amongst its competitors. Warner Brothers Studios is Disney Studio Entertainment's biggest competitor. However, Disney Studios sees much more success than Warner Brothers. In order for Disney to develop a sustained competitive advantage in the studio entertainment division, it should divest from two industries within this division. The success of studio entertainment operations is heavily dependent upon public tastes and preferences. The industries in which Disney should divest from are the nature films industry, Disney Nature, and the theatrical group, as public taste and preference are the weakest for these divisions. This would allow it to focus more on its profitable operations, such as Pixar Animation Studios and Marvel Entertainment. Focusing on these will allow it to enhance and sustain its competitive advantage. Media Networks comprises a vast array of broadcast, cable, radio, publishing, and digital businesses across two divisions, the Disney, ABC Television Group, and ESPN Inc. In addition to content, development, and distribution functions, the segment includes supporting headquarters, communications, digital media, distribution, marketing research, and sales groups. The Disney ABC Television Group is composed of the Walt Disney Company's global entertainment and news television properties, own television station groups, as well as radio and publishing businesses. This group includes the ABC Television Network, ABC Own Television Stations Group, ABC Entertainment <laughs> Group, Disney Channels Worldwide, ABC Family, as well as Disney ABC Domestic Television and Disney Media Distribution. Hyperion Publishing and the company's equity interest in a and &E Television Networks round out the group's portfolio of media businesses. Disney Media Network is the most successful business line, which markets to a large amount of diverse demographics. It should continue to capitalize on its sustained competitive advantage by extending its reach. ESPN is Disney's largest cash cow and brings in the most significant amount of revenue for the company as a whole. Disney should keep in mind its competitors in the sports arena, specifically Comcast. Comcast is quickly growing in the area of sports broadcast. Comcast is a cable provider in the United States that has specific sports channels that rival ESPN. Disney does not offer a cable service in any area of the world to promote its own content. By expanding into the cable provider market, Disney can increase the amount of consumers that have contact with Disney on a daily basis. This would also provide Disney the opportunity to promote its own content less expensively than paying for advertising space on other cable providers. Disney would also consider a joint venture with Comcast instead of creating its own cable provider. Disney has established a sustained competitive advantage for itself through releasing content-specific material to the region in which it is being released. This has also helped Disney establish itself as a household name internationally. Its synergy efforts have also given it a low-cost advantage. Disney frequently uses crossovers with its popular stars across its different media networks. For example, on this season of the hit ABC show, Dancing with the Stars, a popular Disney Channel star is a featured contestant. There is also a famous athlete to in increase synergy efforts with ESPN. Since the, each station caters to a different demographic, it increases the popularity of the different networks and builds loyalty for the media networks as a whole. Media Networks produces books under the name Hyperion Books, which is the least known line of Media Network. This could be divested because the amount of revenue produced by Hyperion Books does not compete with other lines 
such as ESPN. Hyperion Books does not have a niche market, which would benefit the company. As seen in the Harlequin case, Harlequin has created a niche market that has become a sustainable competitive advantage in the romantic novels market. By continuing its synergy and differentiation efforts that have provided success in the past, as well as continuing content creation efforts, Disney should be able to increase its stock price and drive sales in other areas of the business. This will further solidify its sustainable competitive advantage while maintaining its third order fit. Imagine you are a stockholder of Disney. For future recommendations, this is what we believe you should want the conglomerate to do overall. The Walt Disney Company has a history of being extremely profitable and its strategic actions in the future will determine the sustainability of its current competitive advantages. Since Disney Interactive is the least profitable business line, Disney should consider divesting this business line and focusing its resources and capabilities onto its more profitable and successful business line. It is evident that it has been declining in revenues over the past several years which makes Disney look less attractive to current and potential investors. Though divesting this line of business, it is one less negative the stockholders, present and future, will see as a negative aspect of Disney. Disney's most successful business line is Media Network. It would benefit from the added resources and capabilities provided from the divestment of Disney Interactive in the possible expansion into becoming a cable provider. The resources and capabilities could also be used in increasing the amount of original programming released internationally, creating a larger revenue stream for media networks. The partial divestment of Disney Nature and Disney Theatrical Group could help to expand the Parks and Resorts business line by focusing operations, resources, and capabilities on a more successful business line. This is another way that Disney could concentrate its focus from a less successful business line to expand a profit-generating existing business line. Overall, Disney is a well-known corporation that has the potential to sustain the current competitive advantages while creating larger sustained competitive advantages in the future. Disney must focus on maintaining and exploiting the third order fit and synergy that has been created. Disney is a great company and it is continuing to grow as it moves forward. And always remember what Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. Always remember that this whole thing was started with a dream and a map.